There are 11 figurative forms in, in Himalayan art, and five of them relate to deity figures, the peaceful, semi-peaceful, semi-wrathful, wrathful, animal-featured, and then the fifth and last one is warrior appearance. Now, warrior appearance is not a translation of anything. It's descriptive, and it's descriptive of the Tibetan word drala. Drala is, is a term that has understood to have different meanings, but it, it means essentially enemy god. Uh, and and in, in religious context and cultural contexts, then, then it represents a, a category, a class of gods. Now, whether or not they're actually gods or they're actually more pretas, ghosts, or nature spirits, well, then that's a different kind of uh, discussion. So, the, word, the term warrior appearance is coming out of the Tibetan word drala. Now, so in drala, we have this abstract concept of gods, but then we have artists, Tibetan artists. And when, when they refer to drala, they're referring to a particular appearance of a deity that they have to paint, they have to draw and paint. So to, to artists, drala means a warrior category of basically a Central Asian, Tibetan, Mongolian type uh, individual, almost always male, uh, riding a horse, uh, wearing armor, usually holding uh, uh, weapons of war, a spear, a sword. Uh, sometimes it can be a riding crop because uh, there, there, there can be different levels. Sometimes the, the Drala figure can be a little bit more wrathful in appearance, sometimes a little less, and sometimes it can be very peaceful. Uh, one of the most famous of the Drala appearance, the warrior appearance figures we find in art, is actually King Gesar. So King Gesar we don't normally refer to as a Drala, but in terms of, of art, he has Drala appearance. That is what uh, his basic form is drawn from, is the, the, the Drala uh, gods of Tibet. Now, we, we have different systems of, of drala which go uh, along with number sets because, as we all know, number sets are crucial to understanding iconography and, and also understanding religious context and understanding how to uh, uh, read sets of paintings. You have to understand uh, the number sets. So we do have uh, a difference between bun and uh, Buddhist drala. The, the, the Buddhists appear to be drawn from the, the Bun culture, the earlier Bun culture. There's uh, the five personal gods, are, are ve a very famous set of five Drala figures. Uh, then the nine Drala brothers. Then the 13 Drala. And then we have many uh, miscellaneous uh, types of Drala and, and deities and, and gods that fit into this appearance. Um, we can even look at worldly deities such as Dorji Setrap, uh, Tsiu Marpo, uh, Machin Pomra. All of these fall into this basic appearance of uh, a warrior appearance of Tibetan art as understood by Tibetan artists, but not all of them are technically the class of gods known as, as uh, Drala. So, so this term, warrior appearance, is, is just a descriptive borrowed from uh, Tibetan artists and how they relate to drawing these types of Tibetan warrior figures.